it's human here welcome to the second part of ue5 drivable vehicle in this part we're gonna take the car that we rigged in the previous part and make it fully drivable in unreal engine using the chaos vehicle system i made a car a little bit bigger before exporting i'll put the fbx file in the description let's create a basic new level and save it in maps folder We need to enable Chaos Vehicle plugin in order to use it, so open up plugins, search for Chaos Vehicle and enable this one, Chaos Vehicle plugin. Now restart the engine. Let's continue by creating the car blueprint. Open up your contents browser, inside main folder create a new folder and name it blueprints. Inside Blueprints, right click and create a new Blueprint class. Expand all classes and search for Wheeled Vehicle Pawn. I'm gonna name it BP Car. Let's open up the Blueprint. Alright, the first thing to do is to assign Car Skeletal Mesh to the Mesh component. Look for the Car Skeletal Mesh here. We assigned the Skeletal Mesh but we can't see anything in the viewport. You can also see the car preview picture on blueprint and also a skeletal mesh is somehow broken. This is because the changes we made on a skeletal mesh. If you remember when we exported the car from Blender, the scale of bones were on 100 and we reset them to 1. But the car's physics asset is based on the previous skeletal mesh, which the scale was on 100. We'll create a proper physics asset later, but for now let's delete this one. As you can see, just by deleting the physics asset, car preview picture is showing the car correctly. And also, if you go to car blueprint, you can see the car in the viewport. For a chaos vehicle, we need to enable physics simulation. In details panel, search for simulate physics. As you see, we can't enable simulate physics, and that's because the car doesn't have the physics asset. So, let's create one. Go ahead and right click on skeletal mesh, then from create menu, expand physics asset and select create and assign. Change primitive type to sphere, and also check create body for all bones. After that, click on create asset. Alright, here you can see, we have shapes that are assigned to each bone as a physic asset. And here we have the car skeleton tree. We don't need to have physic asset for door, so let's delete this one. We only need physic shapes for wheels and for root. Select body and regenerate the shape for it as box. Now copy the body shape and paste it into the root shape, which is the sphere. Now you can also delete the body. Let's adjust the root shape so it exactly matches the car body. We're done with the car's physics asset, now let's get back to BP car. As you can see we can now enable simulate physics on car skeletal mesh because it has its own physics asset. Let's compile the blueprint and drag the car into the scene. Car is falling to the ground like a regular mesh. It's going to have suspension once we set up wheels for it. For the next step, let's set up camera for our car. Add a spring arm inside the mesh and also add a camera inside the spring arm. You can position the camera however you want, also you can do it like I do. I'm gonna change the arm length to 450. Now I want to possess the car and see how my camera is looking, but we need a game mode to do that. So, for now, let's use auto possess from inside the car blueprint. Make sure to select BP car in components and then in details panel search for auto possess. Change auto possess player to player 0. 
Now if I run the game, I can see how my camera is looking. Very good, let's continue by setting up the wheels for the car. Select vehicle movement component and in details panel, search for wheels. Go ahead and add 4 members to wheel setup because obviously we have 4 wheels. We need to create a custom wheel class because the default one is not going to work. We need one class for rear wheels and one class for front wheels. So open up your content browser in the same folder as BP car, right click and create a blueprint class. In all classes, search for wheel and select chaos vehicle wheel as parent. Let's name it BP base wheel. Now right click on base wheel and create a child blueprint class from it. Let's name it BP wheel front. Now duplicate the front wheel class by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard and change the name to BP wheel rear. After this, let's assign the wheel classes in BP car. We have two front wheels and two rear wheels. About the bone name, for chaos vehicle to work, Unreal must know where each wheel is. We give this information by specifying the wheel bone names. These are the exact same names as the car's skeleton bone names. So we have front right, front left, rear right and rear left. Now assign the corresponding wheel class. Alright, it's time to configure the wheels class. Let's open up the base wheel. Here we are just setting the properties which are shared between the wheels, like wheel radius and wheel width. We are not going to, for example, specify the axle type because it's the base wheel. We specify this inside the child class. Now for the wheel radius, let's open up the physics asset that we made earlier. Select one of the wheel bones. In the details panel, look for primitives, spheres, and you can see the radius right here. I'm gonna copy and paste this value for the wheel radius. Now for the wheel width, let's zoom into the wheel from the front. You can see this 10 cm scale right here. I'm gonna put this at the beginning of the wheel. I think by a simple estimation, the wheel width is 24 cm. So let's get back and put 24 as wheel width. That's it for the base wheel. Now let's set up the front wheel. Change the axle type to front. The front wheels are not affected by engine and also not affected by handbrake. But they are affected by steering. So let's check this. Alright, compile and save it and let's set up the rear wheels. Change the axle type to rear. The rear wheels are affected by handbrake and affected by engine. So that's it for the rear wheels. Compile it. Also compile the BP car and let's run the game. As you can see, we have suspension right now. The chaos system has found the wheels correctly and they are working. Let's see if the tires are touching the ground perfectly. There is a little bit of distance, so let's decrease the tire radius a little bit. Let's try 32 for the wheel radius. By the way, you can eject from the camera using the F8 key. You can adjust the value to get the best result, but for this tutorial, this setting is fine. Alright, next, we'll set up the input actions that will control the vehicle. Open up your contents browser and create an input folder inside content folder. Now create an actions folder inside input folder. Now right click and from input menu create an input action. Let's name this one IA throttle. 
all the inputs which we're gonna use are going to have the 1d axis as the value type so let's set the value type for throttle and duplicate it for the other actions we use 1d axis because these actions need a value that goes forward or backward left or right or positive and negative a 1d axis gives us a single number that can smoothly blend between negative 1 and positive 1 which is perfect for vehicle controls we need brake steer look around and throttle for the vehicle controls next create input mapping context inside input folder let's name it imc vehicle open it up now add four mappings and assign the input actions assign s key for the brake action by clicking on the keyboard icon and pressing S on your keyboard assign A and D for steering now we need to add a modifier on A to negate the 1D axis number so add a modifier and choose negate the D is going in the right direction, so we don't need to change anything on it. Add W for throttle. And add mouse X for look around. Okay, we completed the setup for input mapping context. Now we need to create this input mapping context somewhere. The best practice is to create it in player controller. So let's create a player controller and a game mode inside main folder. Now open up the player controller and go to event graph. Drag from begin play and search for add mapping context. You also need to uncheck the context sensitive option. Select the IMC vehicle as mapping context. Now for the target, search for enhanced input and select this one. Now the player controller is going to attach the input when we run the game. We also need to set up the game mode and add it to the world setting. So let's open up the game mode. Set the player controller class. And change default pound class to BP car. Now that we have a game mode, we can go back to BP car and disable the auto position. Next, set the game mode in world setting and let's run the game. As you can see, the car is spawning from the player start, so let's delete the other BP car. It's time to implement the vehicle controls. Let's go to events graph of BP car. I'm gonna delete these. Right click and search for IA throttle. Drag the vehicle movement component to the graph and grab the set throttle input from it. Connect the triggered and complete it to the execution pin and the action value to the throttle value. We need to set one more thing for throttle to work. Select vehicle movement component and in details panel, search for torque. We just want the vehicle to work, so let's make a simple torque curve. Right click and add a key. Set the time to 0 and the value to 1. Now let's compile it and run the game. Ok, here we go. We have a working throttle. The other controls are very similar, so let's implement them quickly. 
connect enhanced inputs to set steer control and set brake control just like set throttle control. For looking around, just add relative rotation to the spring arm of the camera. Alright, let's compile it and give it a try. As you can see, we have a working chaos vehicle. We have two more things to do. First, enable the camera lag for sponsor camera and also enable the animation for steering and spinning of the wheels. In the car blueprint, search for lag in the details panel, enable camera lag and camera rotation lag. Set the speed values to 12. Now let's handle the wheels animation. Create an animation folder inside the main folder. Right click and create an animation blueprint. Select the car skeleton. Let's name it ABP vehicle. Let's open it up. Here we have to change the blueprint parent class from the class settings. Change the parent class to vehicle animation instance. Now in the anim graph, right click and search for mesh space ref pose. Connect it to a wheel controller and connect it to the output pose. Compile it and make sure to assign it in cars anim instance. Compile the BP car and let's test our vehicle. As you can see, the steering and spinning animations on the wheels are working perfectly. In the next part, we'll cover how to possess the car with a third person character. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.